Hello, I'm Reagan Doerr here with Sean McLaughlin. Today we will be exploring Google Forms and discussing different teacher life hacks for streamlining classroom routines and analyzing data. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Google Forms. Google Forms can be used for entrance tickets, warm-ups, exit tickets, student check-ins, discipline management, quizzes, tests, and much more. Here are five examples of ways you can use forms to streamline your daily classroom routine. Here you can see an example of a morning check-in for students to tell you how they're feeling and communicate with you about daily life as well as assignments. You can also use forms for students to check in at the end of the day and share how they did throughout the day and communicate any questions or concerns they may have. Another really great way to use forms to streamline classroom routines is logging classroom discipline. This is a helpful tool for documenting student behavior, both positive and negative within your classroom. Using a form like this can help teachers keep an at a glance log of student behavior should you ever need to reference data for a 504, IEP or FBA plan meeting or a conference in the future. Paper exit tickets can often get lost in the shuffle of transitioning, so using Google Forms is a great way to eliminate the transition time wasted passing out papers, collecting them, and reading responses. You can easily get live feedback quickly. Exit ticket Google Forms can be made as simple or complex as you'd like. If you have a hard time with students handing in late or missing assignments, this digital missing work form will help. Keeping track of every student that walks up to you is difficult. Setting the stage from the start of the school year with this form helps you stay organized and also keep students accountable for turning in assignments when they're due. Here's a quick rundown on how to view, manage, and organize the data that all of these forms collect. Google Forms gives you real-time data that is also compiled into charts, graphs, and an easy to view way to go over with students. That is then neatly organized for you into a Google Sheet where you can use many different extensions or custom made scripts to assist you with organizing your information. Here on the left, you'll see a quick snapshot of the responses tab where it goes over the summary question the visual, gives you the average, median score and range, the nice bar graph over here. On the right, you'll see when you click on the questions tab, you will see a breakdown of each question how many students selected the correct answer and correct answer, which makes it great for small group, uh, individualized instruction, target instruction, and if you need to review standards or different skills with students. Um, when you click on the Google Sheets button on the top right of the form, it automatically creates a linked spreadsheet for you that's attached to that form. Here you'll see I have a quiz or test that students took and organizes it by the timestamp and date it took it, the student email, their test score, their names, and then all the questions that I have um, here as well. Since I have roughly in a given year, about 120 students that are across four or five different academic numbers, I usually like to use the sheets function to um, separate my students into different academics to get a good clear picture of how each student is doing in each academic class. So you'll see here, I separated students into their academic two. So students um, are then sorted into this class here and I then have their scores highlighted either green for doing really well, yellow meaning they did okay, um, purple meaning that they scored 100 and red meaning that they have failed. So I can get a quick look to see which students need help, which students are doing well, and which students need remedial help uh, for this exam. I'm also using a function here where I had a two part test. Part one was worth 76 points. Part two over here is worth 24 points. And I have it in this column here with a function saying to add these two columns together to give me the score. So I just plug these numbers into here and it automatically gives me the score for each student. You can also, so any function that you can use in Microsoft Excel also works in Google Sheets. So these formulas are available either through Google Sheets or online with a quick, easy search. You can use this function or the sheets to uh, create bar graphs, pie charts, line graphs. You can also organize data by score, by last name, by first name in ABC order. Um, and 
use the find function or search function to find certain uh, names or certain keywords. Um, there's many different functionalities of this that make it a great tool, uh, whether it be for a discipline or for a test or for a quiz or for an exit ticket. It's something that is pretty easy and you can go back to and see uh, when students took it, what their responses were. You can kind of look for trends in the data, but it's a great resource and very easy to use, but it has a big upside to it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.